Ah, oh, guys, believe me, this is how work should be. Whatever. Today we're looking at wheels and tires, winter tires, summer tires, all season tires, and the difference and everything else to do with wheels and tires. Um alles, was es mit Räder und Reifen auf sich hat. Let's go. I'll go this way. A lot of people come to me and just want the wheel and tire combination to look cool. They forget about performance and safety. I mean, the tire's the only point that touches the road. It's the connection point. There are summer tires, there are winter tires, year-round tires, also known as all-season tires. Plus, there are special types of tire, such as semi-slicks and off-road tires. Today, we're just looking at summer and winter tires. The big question is, when should I mount winter tires and when is the time for summer tires? As a rough guide, we have the October to March rule. With regards to temperature, I'll say this. If it's been colder than 7 degrees for three days straight, it's time for winter tires. Its profile and properties are not only optimal for driving in snow and ice, but also in cooler temperatures. That's why they do such a good job. Shorter braking distances, good and stable cornering. In contrast, it's time to mount the summer tires when it's been warmer than 7 degrees for at least three days consecutively. Summer tires give us a higher degree of water displacement and stability at high speeds, as well as a reassuring feeling when we hit the brakes, short braking distances. Then, of course, we've got the good old all-season tires. This is basically a compromise. It bridges the gap between freezing cold and boiling hot. Obviously, it can't deal with both perfectly. That's why I recommend you opt for a complete wheel set in summer and winter. So now we have an idea about which tire is best for which situation. There are two criteria when it comes to choosing the right tire. First, make the right choice for the weather, and second, it has to be approved for the vehicle. A really high-quality tire is pretty cool, and the next curve is always around the corner. That's when safety is really important. The maximum service life for a tire is 10 years, providing it's been stored properly, it's not damaged, and the tread depth is okay. Tires like to be looked after, but they also like to be checked regularly. That means checking the tire pressure and tread depth. I'll show you now how to measure both. Come with me. Most of you have probably felt the little bubble here in the groove. That's the wear indicator. It shows us the legal minimum tread depth of 1.6 mm. The ADAC recommends 3 mm for summer tires and 4 mm for winter tires. Of course, now comes the question, how do we measure it when we're on the road? With this Euro coin. Simple, but it works. The golden edge is exactly 4 mm deep, or high, and we just stick that in the profile. Then we can see if we have the minimum tread depth or not. If it's less than 4 mm, it's time for a change. Imagine, it's winter, the road is covered in snow. You're driving at 50 km per hour and have to brake at a traffic light. Thanks to your new winter tires with an 8 mm tread, it's no problem. Unfortunately, the guy behind you only has the legal minimum tread of 1.6 mm. That means he has a long braking distance of 26 meters, causing him to crash into you right onto your lap even. That's not really what I want, so don't forget the Euro test. People often come to me and say, hey Sydney, so I prefer using all-season tires the whole year round because, well, where should I store the other set of wheels? Obviously, at the tire store service. The guys there know exactly how to deal with tires. You have to remember that a tire is made up of loads of different materials, all of which need special storage. Let's talk about defects, not about the paint job, but about tires. The best thing to do is look at your tire's profile and see if there are irregularities, both inside and outside. Everything has to be even, otherwise you have to get them aligned. Or if the tire has a bulge or is damaged, then it has to be changed. I mean, tires are really relevant to the car's safety. That's why they belong in expert hands. I'd say that was a pretty good introduction to the world of wheels and tires. So if you want to make sure you're set for the season, go for it. I'm off. See you later. Also wenn ihr euch noch eindecken möchtet für die Saison, dann haut rein. Ich hau jetzt rein. Bis neulich, ich freue mich. Volkswagen.